After reading several times about this red kite feeding site, I decided to come and check it myself. So here I am at the jig ring. Uh, it's one hour until the feed will start and there's already probably 50-60 kites circling around. Um, I'm here with my GH5 Mark II and Panasonic Leica 200mm lens. Probably not the best camera for this job today, but this is what I've got. And I'm going to be shooting some video with the GH6 as well, hopefully get some slow-mo of the kites uh, feeding on, on the grass here, just behind me. Before the feeding time, some kites are hovering already on the field, while others are patiently waiting on some of the trees behind. I'm not a red kite expert. I've read that the young ones let the older kites feed first, but this is not the impression I had on the field. There's some theories that just different kites feed at different times depending on their age, but you know, I'm not quite sure. I'm not an expert on that, but that's it. At 3 o'clock sharp, the tractor enters the field with the food for the red kites. What will follow is absolutely crazy. My understanding is that the food is not sufficient to sustain the kite population. However, from 20 circa when they started this program to now, the numbers are in the hundreds. The first sequence that you have seen was in real time, this is now slowed down 50%. You can still see how fast the birds are. One of my objectives for this session was to capture the kites when they were diving down at full speed on the field. The footage that you're watching is low down to 25% speed. The trick was to understand when the kites were about to dive down and get them in the moment. The camera autofocus cannot keep up with this level of speed and acceleration. For me what worked was to follow a single bird and this was only possible when the field was a bit less busy. If you look on the right side of the screen you will see a kite diving down. First he arches the wig and then it goes at full speed in rotation. If I can give some tips to whoever is going to jiggering to look at the red kite feeding is to actually be patient and wait in the second part of the session, around one hour after the start. At that point there will be less birds and it will be slightly easier to get uh, a single bird in the frame. At the beginning I had so many birds in the frame I couldn't really single out a specific specimen and I ended up with many shots that I didn't consider good. Of course there are many opportunities for wider shots when you can see a dark cloud with, with kites or like in these scenes, you know, many kites diving down. 
uh, but for me video gives a better idea of what happened on, on the grounds than a single image. Thing that is very hard to notice when you watch in real time due to the amount of confusion that there is with the huge amount of birds going for the food is that many times the cat actually miss and they end up just with a bit of grass in their clothes or uh, in other occasions they grab it but then the meat falls off their clothes just after. In some other uh, instances multiple kites go for the same target and they end up colliding on the ground which is really really exhilarating to watch. I got my best shots in the second part of the session and I was the last person to leave when the farm closed at 5 o'clock. I hope this video will prepare you, in case you're, the, you're going there, to the kind of sensory overload that you will experience when you join the red kite feeding experience. Thank you for watching.